Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Kubernetes users encounter. Our viewer is running a gRPC service in a pod and is successfully hitting an endpoint with a print statement. However, they're puzzled because the logs aren't showing up in the log file. They've experienced similar issues before with cron jobs, where logs only appeared after the job was completed. So, they're wondering if there's a way to make Kubernetes write logs immediately. Let's dive into this intriguing question and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. If your logs in a Kubernetes pod are not showing up immediately, it could be due to the way logging is configured in your application. Let's explore how to address this issue. First, ensure that your application is flushing logs to standard output. In many programming languages, this can be controlled by setting the appropriate logging level or flushing the output buffer. Next, consider using a logging driver that supports immediate log writing. For example, if you're using Docker, you can set the logging driver to JSON file, which captures logs in real time. Additionally, you can adjust the log level of your application to ensure that all logs are captured. This can often be done through environment variables or configuration files. Finally, if you're using a sidecar container for logging, ensure that it is correctly configured to read logs from your application container. This can help in capturing logs in real time. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your logs in a Kubernetes pod aren't showing up, it might be due to CPU starvation. This often happens when running locally on Minikube with low resource limits. Consider increasing the CPU resource limits for your pod. For example, if your limits are set between 20 to 40 milli CPU, that might be too low for a full Flask or Python application. Here's an example YAML configuration to adjust your resource limits. Make sure to set the requests and limits appropriately. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.